Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying the doors of Trithius. I won't lie, I uh, discovered this game via Splattercat and uh, I reached out to the dev and they provided me with a key. So thank you very much, dev. Really appreciate you. I re this is a uh, traditional roguelike. It's, uh, it looks really cool so far. I I've been playing it for a little bit and I gotta say, I really love the presentation of this like intro sequence. I'm gonna go ahead and roll up um, just basically the same character I was already playing. Uh, I'm gonna go with, uh, I guess I could go with survival. Each survival level reduces hunger rate. I kind of want to, I went with cooking and medicine, which seems to me like a very survival-y character. And I'm gonna go with um, thick skin for our physical trait. I do wish that this game had a um, random name generator. I always appreciate when uh, that is available because I, I can't honestly stand uh, coming up with uh, names for characters. So uh, first of all, I'm gonna recommend, I, I'm sure there's a way of playing purely with a numpad, but um, I, I, out of pure laziness, I've just been using the um, the mouse and numpad combination. So I use my uh, numpad, num5 for weight. Uh, I'm sure, again, there's a, probably a button for uh, waiting with the mouse and keyboard, but again, I'm just kind of lazy about it. So uh, you can you can probably uh, write this off as, as being a any kind of t tutorial because I'm not playing it probably very properly. But so far, um, it's you know it's it's your your uh, very traditional traditional roguelike. It's uh, like you know um, I, I I there's a lot of traditional roguelikes now that uh, have kind of strayed from the path. In a way, they've uh, they've genre blended. We've got leather. I wonder if we have crafting. Could be used for repair. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm clicking on doors to open them. Uh, apparently, like, moving into them is not... Uh, does not work for opening a certain thing. So, yeah, like, I, I'm a little bit confused on some of the controls, but um, it wouldn't it wouldn't be, uh, like, f a five minutes of looking through the control options. I'm sure that would explain. We could... Oh, this is, these are sorting. I thought that was the little gear. So we have actions, past turn. Okay, so past turn is space, um, but that doesn't, I guess that's if I want to use the keyboard. And then we do have crafting. We have salvaging. Use the salvage window to see what you'd gain by salvaging your items. Enchantments, a lot of stuff. As I understand it, um, this game is very much all about its gear, um, not as much about leveling up. We got ourselves a tribal short bow. So we could maybe equip that. Can we equip that? Um, let's go ahead and equip that. Ranged skill unlocked. Archery skill unlocked. Okay. I just came, I'm, I'm just off the, off, uh, fresh off of Zorbus. I played a little bit of Zorbus. Um, so can we, requires arrows to be equipped. So we have to equip the arrows. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we have arrows and bolts. Those tend to be different um, types of ammo. Bolts are ten tend to be for crossbows. Our arrows are for uh, short bows and long bows. Um, so let's see. Can I equip the bolts? Uh, equipped ammo is wrong type. You know, sometimes I, I like to make mistakes just to see, um, you know, what happens. So it, it, we've got some actually pretty impressive animations for a traditional roguelike. Obvious comparisons in my mind are um, Stone Shard. Uh, I've had my my run in with Stone Shard, and my opinions on Stone Shard have been made pretty clear. I I, uh, I want to like it, but um, this isn't really about Stone Shard. I guess it, it like some of the animations and uh, actual like graphics of this game um, definitely lead to some comparisons for me. So we've got ourselves a lizard friend. I kind of want to switch back to uh, our hatchet. Oh, I got to make sh shift shield as well. So let's go back to melee for a little bit. That was working pretty well for us. And uh, like if, if there's not really much point in um, ranged, if you're like standing right in front of it, the, the, the thing in question, we've got some bread. I wonder if there's like hunger, right? Click to inspect any creature to see details. Okay. So that's for like looking at creatures to, you know, maybe get a sense of how much danger you're in. Uh, we have antidotes, onions. I wonder, um, can we get to cook, to cooking a little bit? Re recipes. No recipes selected. Um, roasted haunch. We need a cooking station to turn raw meat into, uh, 
roasted haunch. We have baked potato. We obviously need a potato for that. Boiled egg. Uh, we could also make a torch. I don't seem to have anything I need to make a torch. We can make arrows though. There's fletching in this game. I always love it when there's fletching in a game. It's, it just adds a little bit of extra, uh, you know, oomph to the, the survivalism. And you know, I've, I've talked about this before, but I love, um, you know, uh, bows and arrows um, in general. Do we still have our ammo equipped? Yes, we do. Okay, so don't we don't have to re-equip the, the arrows. I love the idea of uh, bow and arrow range combat because I like I love like reclaiming arrows, uh, and that is in this game. So the idea of also making arrows, it really does add a lot for me to um, you know the immersion of of being an archer in the wild. I, I really appreciate that. Cabbage rolls recipe. Let's learn that. Add this recipe to your recipe book. Let's do that. So now we know about cabbage rolls. So what kind of cooking state? This is a cooking station. Oh, cool. So let's, can we make cabbage rolls? We need tomato for that. Okay. There's a little bit, of, you learn a little bit about cooking in this game. You can, you can learn, learn how to make cabbage rolls. Uh, not everyone's cup of tea, but I, I like them. I like a cabbage roll. Um, so let's make some raw, uh, raw meat. Recipe requires meat preparation. Oh, we don't have meat preparation. We need to learn about meat preparation. Wow. Okay. Um, can we we can it how do we how would one learn about meat preparation roast meat on a pan in a pot or skewered on a spit however you cook it just make sure all signs of blood are gone we need to learn about peeling yo what are you kidding though oh yeah requirements boiling Boil in water. Yo, how in the world do you learn some of these skills? Okay, um, hmm. We are hungry. So, um, can we... Maybe we just eat the raw meat and that will teach us about meat preparation. You eat some raw meat. I don't think that that really did it for us. We did take a little bit of damage. In fact, we continue to take damage. We are uh, somewhat poisoned. We have, we have poisoned ourselves. Um, all right. I wonder if there is a quick button for, um, resting. Uh, display, ability picker, weapon mastery, skills, uh, repair, camera movement. It doesn't seem to be, and I don't know if there is a, um, auto move, normal movement on site. When should movement be stopped? Oh, I see. I guess like just walk. This is just for like walking around. Forced move. Okay. Well, none of these are really what we want. We can learn about combat. You found an enemy. Click to attack. If you're out of range, your cursor will appear gray, and you will instead move toward your target. Um, remember, combat is turn-based. You can take as much time as you need between actions. We learned about wounds long lasting status effects and appear on the bottom of the screen above your health so we're still um poisoned so i'm just gonna hold down your poison wound heals itself well that's good is it okay, maybe just hitting r no r seems to unequip stuff well uh one thing i can say is i think that this uh, maybe some of the tutorials in this game could use a little bit of work um Simply, simply figuring out how to do stuff like rest is is not necessarily as easy as one would hope. But let's uh, let's. I've run out of arrows, so I'm gonna have to melee kill this lizard. We got a focus point. You leveled up. Okay, well, again, coming very hot off of Zorbus, um, leveling up in that game was very much a trial. Uh, leveling up took a long time, about an hour, in fact. Um, so leveling up is a lot quicker in this one. Uh, less dodge chance, less maximum energy, but we get physical resistance. So yeah, let's go ahead and equip those gloves. That seems like it's going to be a thing. We could really use some shoes, I think. I do appreciate how, uh, there's like a different, like, tile for the snake when it, while it's waiting. Stuff like that, it adds a lot of extra time to, uh, developing a game like this. 
I am a little bit curious about, okay, so since we did, okay, focus points, click masteries at the bottom menu to spend. Okay, masteries. Can we learn about meat preparation? I know it's a, a weird one. So I think this is game, this game is a clo um, maybe similar to Adam in the sense that the more you use a weapon, the more proficient you become in it. I, I do really like that system. Um, Axe is typically classified as any weapon that lasts, uh, has a long uh, handle with a heavy blade head on the end. Axes are able to slash and chop more consistently than other bladed weapons. Once you let the blood flow, there's no turning back. Each axe gr level grants plus one damage percent with axe weapons. Okay. So this isn't really what we want. View your weapon master's weapon skill is represented by a weapon type. Um, let's look at skills. Specifically cooking. Uh, passive superb cooking. I disagree. If you don't know how to at least cook meat over a fire, then you are an awful cook. Um, can we learn about meat preparation? Yes. Unlock. Okay, we now know how to prepare meat. This is something. Um, we can also learn about um, medicine. We can also consider... Um, we have five focus points, so we could look at uh, chivalry. This is parry, but it requires two-handed weapons, I think. Affects your targets next turn only and has no effect if targets do not attack. Right now, we are going very sword and board with our shield, so I think I might consider taking a shield effect. Um, this is an ability. Assume a defensive posture, consuming energy each turn to gain plus two protection. Okay, so this is kind of good. Overcome the odds. Some interesting skills in this game. Last three turns gives 15% tenacity and 50% physical resistance. I think I'd rather get some passives for now. Each chivalry level decreases the energy cost of all melee abilities. So this skill gives us um, physical resistance uh, the more enemies that are surrounding us. That could be really good. Uh, while three or more enemies are within two tiles, gain plus 15% damage. Um, shields, bash, target enemy. Is this an ability? This is a, an ability. All right, let's take Bash. And I'm going to take uh, Righteous Fury. And um, that's it for now. We'll save the rest of our points. We have magic as well, but we don't we haven't yet unlocked ma magic. Travel weariness. OK, well, you know what? Honestly, um, you know, it's, it's I have very strange motivations, I think. Uh, but I uh, now I'm I'm very excited to learn, uh, actually do some cooking here. So we're gonna cook that other meat and we're gonna eat it because uh, we are hungry. Didn't really gain a lot of sustenance from that. Oh, we're, we're very hurt. Can we sleep? Requires unspent skill points. Really? Requires weariness or fatigue wound. Wow, okay. Hard, the game is hardcore, honestly. This, uh, this door is locked. Do we have a map? Hitting M on the keyboard produces no map. Um, so it looks like when you click on... Is there a way to cancel your movement? It looks like clicking anywhere, you are very committed to that movement. I was not able to stop that from happening. Can we uh, drink this water over here? Yeah, that gave us 20 health. Okay, that's nice. So, um, how do we... Okay, healing. You've taken serious damage. Eating food food is the primary way to gain health. Your health will also slowly regenerate over time. Can we auto-attack this uh, door? There's like nowhere else to go if I can't open that door. Yeah, you, you definitely want to be clicking for movement. It's just a lot easier in general. Is this? Oh, that was the staircase down. Oh, I didn't realize that. I thought it was where we came from. I'm seeing centipedes. Centipedes in games are always a pain. They are always basically the worst. We are bleeding. I do have a resistance to bleeding. 
Um, you know what? We should have the ability to bandage ourselves. Wisdom level gained. Did we, we, uh, did we level up? You've gained enough wisdom to reach a new level. Sleep in a bed to meditate on what you've learned and level up. Okay, so there's more than one ways to level up in this game. Um, we had focus points, but then we also have skill points. Oh. Bleed resistance. Raw insect meat. We can maybe cook that. Unless we need the uh, insect meat preparation skill. That's a that's a joke at the expense of the game, but I uh, hope you hope you don't mind. <laughs> um. Oh, okay. We are we are bleed severely. Um. Let's kill this centipede, and then maybe we can bandage ourselves up. Uh. Do we have any more? We do have some bandage. Go ahead and apply that to our wound. Okay. This is a this is maybe a bit more of a contemplative uh traditional roguelike you gotta you gotta spend a bit of time you gotta take some time to rest prepare for the next room um so we can't you can't use uh, raw insect meat you can't cook raw insect meat you need a recipe so i i was uh, i was being a little bit flippant when i said we need the insect meat pr preparation but uh, we do actually need like insect meat recipe. Okay. A little bit strange. You know, you gotta, you can't uh, take anything for granted in this game. You dream that you are falling through the sky and as you scream towards the earth and you see a flying figure uh, up to meet you, they catch you before you hit the ground and you see that it is a winged woman. She kisses you and then flies off leaving you alone. Wow. Since your last dream, you gained 12 wisdom from using medicine. Uh, 24 wisdom from slaying monsters, 2 wisdom from crafting, 2 wisdom from cooking food. In total, you've accumulated 1 skill point. You can assign this skill point to something. Each chivalry level decreases the energy cost of all melee abilities. I'm not really using a lot of melee abilities, but I should be. Each cooking level provides an increases, increasing chance to create a superb version of any meal. What I'd really like is to learn some more recipes. So I, I guess I'll just throw it into chivalry. Um, that's fine. You have two unspent chivalry focus points. Oh, I see. We have different focus points for each. Uh, for each thing, I wonder. Peeling. We actually have to learn how to peel. I'm sorry. That's really funny. I'm sorry. That's really funny. We have to. We have to get the peeling skill. Um, okay. Uh, well, I wouldn't mind having that, I guess, so that I can uh, cook some potatoes. So if I take this, is it going to, like, do I only have the one focus? No, okay, so there's different focus points for each skill. That's very strange, but okay. So we've learned how to peel a potato. I'm so, <laughs> that's so good. Uh, require, recipe requires one raw potato. Do we know? Oh, we, ha we already have a, a baked potato. I thought we had some raw potatoes. Okay, well, I guess I wasted that, but that's a, that's fine. We're gonna go ahead and eat that potato. And we have some points we can throw into chivalry. Um, I don't want to learn parry. Um, maximum health is permanently increased by 10. Couldn't, wouldn't mind with that. Whenever you take damage from an attack, 1% chance to, per chivalry level, to gain Protector of the Realm status, which is gives plus 10% physical resistance and plus 3 HP per turn. That seems like a really good skill. I might want to save up for that. All right, so let's uh, let's go back. We also, don't forget, we also have Masteries, but we're gonna have to become a little bit more proficient, proficient with, uh, with our stuff before we can use that. So. We're roaming around. We got a rat. We had a rat. They are now dead. So yeah, um, it, we do have like a basic skill. Ooh, splitting axe. Um, that could be really good. What is? It? What do we have? We have a simple hatchet. This is thirteen seventeen. This is twelve fourteen. Um, this has the same. Oh, actually, better armor penetration. Yeah, this is just straight up better, in every way. Except it's two-handed. Uh, and it does say that. So that unfortunately does mean that our shield bash would not be in effect. So I guess it's not worth it. 
That sucks. If I'd gotten that a little bit sooner, I probably would have switched to it um, for the sake of uh, and, and ba basically taking some two-handed um, abilities. Got a bunch of crates here. A lot of crates. We got some oil. This is nice. Lots of things to loot in this room. And we've got, I think this is workbench. Yeah, okay. So here we can salvage, we can repair. Apparently there is uh, maybe weapon and armor degradation. Um, we don't have the ability to make basically any of this. We could salvage some stuff. Let's salvage our um, crude cudgel. Uh, maybe our meat cleaver. Uh, would love, I wouldn't, I don't want to really destroy our splitting axe. I might. I might pivot, who knows. Um, our jade necklace, I don't think so. We don't need to, maybe we can sell that. Quarter mastery skill discovered. We've, we've learned a little bit about um, stuff. So I guess you gotta, you kinda have to use your skills um, in their most basic sense before you can like use some more advanced stuff. Like you gotta, you gotta grind up your skills a little bit so that you can learn some stuff. Um, we are bleeding, so I'm gonna need to make another bandage. I am out of bandages, so this could end up being pretty bad. Uh, I wouldn't mind, maybe we could get a recipe for learning how to make bandages. Would seem like a really good idea. Ouch, they crit, crit hit us for four damage. We should try using our shield. What is this? Knight's Grace. Press the attack, increasing attack speed by 15 for 30 turns. Okay. We got an apple. Oh, we have some tomatoes now, so we should be able to make some cabbage rolls. Again, I have strange priorities. Okay, we're doing well. Let's let's see how our axe our axe uh, skill is coming is uh, is coming along here. Um, another. Uh, well, actually, we could spend a point. Um, gain three percent accuracy while using axes. Log chopper. Plus 15% armor penetration. This is uh, unlocked for two focus points. It's not bad, actually. This is a toggle ability. Your attacks become viciously unpredictable. Attacks suffer, suffer negative 10% accuracy penalty and have a negative three reduced minimum damage, but gain plus eight maximum damage and 20% critical chance. Interesting. Some really cool kind of dramatic, uh, dr dr dramatic uh, skills in this game. Gain plus five attack speed while using axes. I kind of want to get this log chopper. Armor penetration would be good. I, I guess we haven't really fought anything with armor yet. So why don't we just get like, um, I don't know, axe swiftness. And maybe also uh, accuracy. Seems like a good idea. Good to just like upgrade the, the passive benefits of using axes. Okay, this is a lot of centipedes to be fighting. This is where having that one chivalry ability would actually be really good. Can we maybe grab that? Yes. Uh, bravery. While two or more enemies are in adjacent tiles game, plus 10% physical resist. Okay, you know what? Sometimes it's good to grab a skill when it is the most um, relevant. Knocking them back. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, use this just to knock back one of these guys. We are really low health. Okay, we, we want to get out of here. I'm going to go back downstairs, hoping our, that bleeding, our bleeding isn't going to kill us. I have some herbal tea. 10% chance to remove a wound. Um, are, yeah, these bleedings are wounds, so we, we should use a herbal tea. Um, let's use another one. We can't. Uh, uh, maybe this is per turn. There's a chance. Okay, it did actually remove one wound. Ah, it did. It actually helped us a lot. That was really good. Okay, can we cook anything right now? Uh, it doesn't look like it. We can't make cabbage rolls? Are you kidding me? We need vegetable cutting and boiling. I, I don't know. Uh, can we get maybe some recipes that we can cook if we take the cooking proficiency? I feel like that's a little bit harsh. Um, these skills have been discovered but cannot gain experience or be used until a skill point is spent to unlock them. Interesting. 
Um, let's go ahead and eat an apple. That's what we can do right now. Um, we can eat some raw insect meat. We can eat some bread. Let's, uh, let's maybe eat some bread when our apple is done. I would like to rest. I really wish there was just a button for, like, resting a certain number of turns. I can hold the wait button down. That's the best I can do. That's generally a really bad idea in these kinds of games because if something bad is to happen, it's I'm not going to be ha have any chance to react. Okay, let's go upstairs. And uh, I mean, we're we're still alive. Things are going okay for now. We've got another centipede. Oh, I should have waited. Okay, we didn't get the bleed stat, so that's good. Got some raw meat. We can prepare that upstairs. Get some more uh, cooking skills. Maybe we can even learn how to <laughs> how to boil a vegetable. I I am being a little bit flippant about the skills because I do think it is a little bit harsh. Um, but I, I I do appreciate you know there's a there's a you know sometimes you gotta. It, it adds a little bit to um, the feeling of progression when you have a couple of things uh, gaining these these uh, simple tasks. You definitely like you know it, it 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 can it can add something. Sometimes it can't. Sometimes it doesn't add something, but sometimes it, it does as well. And uh, you know we can we can work around it. I guess I just wish I had um, maybe more recipes that actually uh, you know made use of what I got like when I when I took um cooking I kind of wish it would it had provided me with a recipe that I could have used I, I couldn't none of the recipes I had I had the uh, uh provided skills so we have alchemy here and, and maybe even farming as well let's see how that goes I wonder how damaged our stuff is uh, looks like our breastplate it has a worn condition item may soon become damaged we should um maybe consider repairing that if we can gear maintenance oh, is this a bad guy i think it is this is our first humanoid axe is level three ouch she did a really nasty hit on us okay we got some stuff we find oh broken beyond use. Well, that's okay. We can grab this stuff and maybe uh, disassemble them or salvage them. We have a brewing station. Uh, you level up. You are now level three axes. Um, to begin alchemy, the alchemy skill must first be unlocked. New skills can be unlocked by leveling up. Alchemy skill discovered. Okay, I do. Game kind of reminds me of Soul Ash a little bit. I did really like that game. Botany skill unlocked. Ouch! Critical fail poison. Oh no. Um, I don't want to get out of here. Uh, do I have any points I can put into skill, uh, uh cooking? I have no focus points. I can't learn about vegetable cooking or boiling. I need two points. I need to, I need to cook a bunch of stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know. Can we, can we come here and, um, repair? We can repair the cudgel. Um, that's not really what I want to do. I'd rather just salvage the cudgel. Um, our gloves seem to be damaged. So we need stuff for that. Can we, can we not repair anything? Oh, we can. Okay, hold on. We can repair our improvised breastplate. Maybe? No. Requires two scrap metal. We only have one scrap metal. Can we repair our peasant shoes? We have zero cloth, so no. Wow. Um, brutal. Okay, let's salvage our jade necklace so we can repair something. Oh, we need one cloth as well to um, repair our improvised breastplate. Things are not going okay. You know what? Let's go ahead and salvage our short bow. So we can get something um, to repair our, our main armor. I hope we actually gain some experience um, for 
Uh, I guess I have quarter mastery. We got a carrot. Um, so what is this over here? Magic? Study bench. Spend your knowledge to unlock bonuses. Well, we have no knowledge. We can't study anything. Reading skill discovered. Our lad really, really, um, let's just say it. They need to go to school. Visit a study bench to study this book. Requires two reading. Temple charter. Can we, uh, I wonder if we can salvage those. Oh, wait a minute. We have, we had more stuff we could salvage. Can I salvage those now? Or do I have to? No, I guess I have to go to a quarter mastery bench. Oh, we're almost dead. Didn't realize uh, poison is still hurting us pretty badly. Um, let's eat some bread and go back upstairs. He died. Game over. Our, our friend, our lad was not smart enough to pathfind around the trap. So they did die. What, what is this load game? Where is this going to take us back to? Um, gear maintenance. So this was before I repaired anything. I did. This is when I picked up the carrot. Why am I poisoned? I seem to be poisoned and I'm not sure how to unpoison myself here. So let's eat some bread again. We'll go back to our quarter mastery bench. Um, okay, so this is after I uh, salvaged my jade necklace. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and salvage these peasant shoes. And I guess these broken gauntlets. That is actually some pretty good stuff there. And I guess I will salvage the splitting axe. It sucks, but you know, we have nothing damaged. We haven't really been getting anything in regards to, uh, like, armor? We don't really have any armor, can I? Wow. I, I, I really... The game is, like, 100% just kind of leaving me to my elements. Uh, like, I have no real way to, to combat a lot of the stuff going on. I'm going to drink this herbal tea in the hopes that it cures our poison. Looks like it did. And we're just gonna uh, try and heal. We're gonna eat a bunch of bread. We're gonna eat all of- Oh, I guess I do have three antidotes. Didn't have to use our herbal tea. The herbal tea was maybe um, better spent on something else. That's fine. All right, well, um, I did die, but I died in a most foolish manner, so I'm not gonna count it. I'm not gonna- I appreciate that the game is like, I mean, it, it is a tra traditional roguelike, but, you know, we just, we have loading, whatever. What are these? Null Defender, Soulless Automatons, their creators gone, they carry out their duty nonetheless. Missile Deflection, okay. Let's back up one so that we create a bottleneck here. They do some nasty damage. And they also have quite a lot of health. Ouch. They can also apparently attack twice per turn sometimes. Wow, we're taking just tons of damage. So we got some null clay. So a clay-like substance with magical properties that is said to be the key to creating magical constructs known as nulls. I wonder if we can uh, get like the 16 you know, proficiencies we need if we could maybe make our own nulls. Oh, we got some leather. Oh, that's nice. What, what's in here? A buckler. I'm pretty sure that's what we've got. And another splitting axe. Oh, no, this is a makeshift shield, so the buckler might be better. Physical resist 3%. This is better physical resistance. But this is dodge chance and missile deflection. Um, still, I think that the physical resistance is going to be better for us than, um, the dodge chance. I don't know. It might be worth, like, switching shields in certain circumstances. I, interestingly, I actually have, like, um, not quite animations, but, like, a lot of different tiles. Like, I noticed that the, these guys are switching weapons and their tile actually changes 
um, to reflect that, which is, that's a lot um, for, for this kind of game. You, you tend not to see something like that. We've got another alchemy, our brewing station. We don't know how to brew. We have discovered skills, but we need to, we would need to level up. We are getting pretty close to leveling up. We are also getting close to dying, so uh, who can say what will happen first? We got more nulls, lots of nulls on this floor. It's okay, they're they're here to, to train up our our axe ability. How is our axe ability doing? Pretty good. Gain plus ten attack speed while using axes. Let's uh let's just throw a point in that. Why not? We got more null, uh, nulls. We had bravery there for a second because we were surrounded. I guess I, I was wrong to take that because, you know, if you're surrounded by enemies, you're not in a good situation, it must be said. He was stunned, and yet, like, I think if you, if your ability doesn't stun an enemy for at least two turns, then it's kind of worthless. Because, like, um, really think about it. Um, the ability pushes them back, uh, like, a tile and stuns them for basically one turn. Now, to be fair, it may be a chance-based thing. Oh my god, we learned a new recipe. Crooked light crossbow cabbage rolls recipe. You already know, I already know that one. And another bandage. The bandage is actually very welcomed. Um, so it's going to take an extra turn to move up to, you know, said creature that you have now stunned for one turn. Um, and and so it's 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 kind of worthless because they're going to be unstunned by the time you reach them. Now now being that being said, it could be like a, uh, a, a check, like it could be versus their constitution. So it might be that every round they are stunned, they have a chance to shake off a stun. And I just got very unlucky in that circumstance. And I wouldn't put it past a game like this to have those kind of checks. Um, but I I think for myself, um, maybe I. I, I don't know what I prefer. I, I, I like both. Oh, there's a null right there and I didn't see them. We got some health back. Um, relatively, we should look at this potion. You know what? Let's just drink this potion. Uh, draught of haste. We have much more attack speed and move speed. Which is good, we, but we got to make use of it. What is this? Spider eggs, ready to hatch. We've got spiders, and they have uh, ranged weaponry. And they do a lot of damage. A lot of damage. They need to destroy these eggs before they hatch. There we go. Um, somehow I managed to survive all of that. What is that? Is that a study bench? There's another spider in here. I can't really survive another uh, spider onslaught. So I'm gonna I'm gonna back up and oh, I almost died to a trap just now Came very close Um, I don't know how I feel about these specialized benches. I like them in theory, but because moving around the dungeon actually does take time. It's sort of the same problem as Stone Shard in a way, because, um, you know, moving is is kind of slow and methodical um, because of the slight animations. Um, and so, oh, you can click again to cancel movement. Okay, I, I've, I learned a thing. And so like when you, you know, like you have these specialized stations that you can only cook at, um, it, uh, you know, it kind of slows down your gameplay a little bit because like I have to go all the way back up here to cook some food and of course I can't cook food because I don't have any of the proficiencies. So, and why can't I cook my roast? Oh, those are roasted haunch. I should just eat those. That was silly. I could just eat those and now I'll gain a little bit of health. So yeah, resting in this game is, uh, you can't take it for granted. In just about every other traditional roguelike I've ever played, resting is uh, is very much a freebie. Uh, as long as you're in a safe situation, you should be able to rest and uh, re regain your health. <clears throat> but this this game, they've, they, it's, there's been a very 
um, like focused decision of like, no, uh, that's not, you, you don't just get that for free. Also, I guess we do have unspent skill points. So I should go back um, to our bed again. I, just, I don't know how I feel. Just like, like, just like let me level up. But I guess I, I guess we're going for a little bit more methodical gameplay in this this one. So fair enough. We're gonna we're gonna sleep. We're gonna dream. You dream of a magical sword. It destroys any foe. But whenever touched, its wielder forgets their own name. Trapped in a state of uncertainty, you cannot decide if you should take it. And four wisdom from salvaging items, one wisdom from using medicine, 35 wisdom from slaying monsters. Okay, so we could learn a new skill. Uh, new skill. Botany is your ability to identify and harvest mushrooms and flowers. Until identified, plants will appear dull and colorless and have a very low chance to harvest. But, you know, like, I'd love to throw a point at botany. That sounds kind of fun. But then, I, I, what am I going to do with that? I, I, ha I would have to also have alchemy. I only get one skill point. So having botany without alchemy seems like kind of like, why? Um, alchemy sounds cool. It gives you, you can make potions and uh, heal wounds. There you go. Good quartermaster is well versed in the art of gear maintenance. Modification and loot organization offers bonuses like gear bolstering, an armor weight reduction. I honestly think that if I'm going to take a skill, it should be quarter mastery. So we are taking quarter mastery. Now, uh, just because I have quarter mastery does not mean I'm going to be able to use it. Because uh, now we we must uh, probably learn 13 other skills. Um, we can make a torch. I don't know if I want to make a torch. I'm not sure if I understand the benefits of a torch. We could salvage our buckler. Let's go ahead and do that. We don't really need it. I, I guess I could have used it, but eh. And we'll salvage these other things. Now, I'm not seeing uh, any bolstering abilities here. I'm not sure what the deal is there. Um, we can repair our hatchet and our gloves, so we should do that. We'll probably gain a little bit of XP there. Now, that. that that being said, we should, what we should do is look at our skill, our quarter ma master skill. What, what abilities do we have here? We have one focus point. We can't use it on anything. Broken or damaged items are no longer pe penalized when salvaging, but we'll return the full amount of items. Oh, that's kind of nice. But we require f uh, quarter mastery four. Okay, so there's, um, there's gated things here. Uh, and this costs two abilities. Perform a u uniform and maintenance routine. Increasing the physical resistance of your armor set by 8% and energy recovery by 1. The bonus lasts a long time, but it is removed if any item in the head, chest, gloves, or boots slot is changed. Seems really cool. Gain the incredible ability to salvage, repair, and even craft new items without the need of a workbench. Five focus points. That is outrageous. I'm sorry, that is just absolutely ridiculous. I would never buy this skill, ever. Um, I think that that is a really high price point to put on basically the player to not travel um, like whatever distance they need like it really is say you know I, I know that there's a there's something to be said about well yeah but use it then like in the middle of combat could do these things probably there's a very good reason why um, doing repair uh, salvaging or even crafting in the middle of combat is a really really bad idea and should never be done because it's probably going to take turns to do and if you're in a situation where you need to repair your, your uh, armor in the middle of combat you're probably going to die there's a good chance that, that is true okay so that's the first thing the second thing is what you're really saying to the player is spend five points to not travel x amount of distance x being like however long it takes to get back to your to that to that quarter mastery station and i think that that is just kind of gating the player's time in a way like it's it's like saying your time uh, is worth certain something and we're gonna put a price point on that and it's five skill points that's a lot of points to put on the player's time and i i don't actually it's the first decision i have to say I, i'm not a huge fan of um 
I'm picking up all these books. I'm not sure why. I don't even know if there's an encumbrance. There is. Uh, I see that there is a, a, a limit to how many things I can carry, but it, it's high enough that I don't think it would ever matter. But yeah, I mean, uh, you know, not to be like super down, I just like really don't like the idea that, uh, you know, my, my, my time is clearly worth something. But like the game is, is basically saying like in order to not waste time going back to the crafting station whenever you need to repair or salvage something, you, you have to spend five points. So we have a new quest. New quest. I didn't even know that there were quests in this game. Ascension fragment. A shattered piece of a somehow familiar arcane signet. Holding this reminds you of home. I favorited it. Okay. Ooh. Oak walking stick. Peasant pot. Worker gloves. Umski. Escaping. You found the treasure. Press B to escape. You can escape dungeons at any time as long as no enemies are- What do you- What? 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 There's like an overworld in this game? Was that the tutorial dungeon? Be warned, traveling in the wilderness is not always safe. You can right-click a tile to see its danger level. What? Okay. Uh, I was not expecting that. Bandit difficulty five. There's towns in this game. Well, this game very much reminds me of uh, Soul Ash now. Okay, so we, we moved down a tile and we're now being attacked by bees. Uh, actually kind of good for us because, well, we can see dangerous in numbers. Yeah, they are, oh, they're level four. I mean, that is pretty spicy, but um, we do have bravery. I don't think bravery is gonna count for much here. I think we're gonna die. I mean, like, uh, almost immediately we're gonna die. They're doing, like, six to eight damage each per turn. Yeah, okay, well, that that's that, I guess. Um, well, at least there is saving loading. I, I appreciate that right now. Um, danger very low. Okay. Faction, so... Okay, we just got very unlucky. It's kind of getting lost in, in Caves of Cud. Okay, we can enter Nurton. We're in Nurton. Job board. So there's like gold and you gain experience. Visit these NPCs to accept work. That is a decision. I kind of wish that we could just take the quest on the board. And then the adventurer is looking for someone to help him kill a nearby gremlin chief. Okay, uh, three days. So some of these have better rewards than others. This one gives us food and wisdom. Um, I mean, this is a really high reward, but I'm probably I'm sure that this is this quest would destroy us probably. We need to talk to Andon the adventurer. I have to wonder: um, Are these quests procedurally generated? Like, there's uh, sometimes there's funny work at play when it comes to. Uh, how how you know people solve the problem of like an adventure like for for instance like Adam both Adam and like um, Dungeoneers um, I think it's called Dungeoneers I can't remember but like they both have randomly like procedurally generated dungeons but they have a very consistently generated overworld and towns and quests so like I wonder where the line is here. Hello Traveler, you must be the new must be new in town. I'm Zant the blacksmith. I sell armor and weapons. I can also repair your gear. Uh what do you have for trade? Yeah, what do you have for trade? Um I didn't realize I, I was gonna need to buy some some stuff. This is a gonna be a two-handed weapon. Requires six mastery to use effectively. This is two-handed. Pickaxe, two-handed, two-handed. The only one that isn't two-handed is a simple hatchet. Okay, so we can't really use anything there. Um, I would really like some boots. Oh my god, this is expensive. Also, we have no money. What? We have no money. In that entire dungeon, I didn't, I didn't pick up a single coin. <laughs> Yo, this game is hardcore. 
That is brutal. Especially, wait, what, what did I just say? Um, well, I guess there's not really any point in uh, looking at anything here because I'm not going to be able to afford anything. I don't know if uh, opening crates makes me an enemy of, of the town. Who's this? Saga Hi. Hello, young one. Did you notice my beard? <laughs> yes, I noticed your beard. That's good. It's a fine beard. Um, do you know what this is? Show ascension. My goodness, put that away. Someone might see. Why is that? It's a magical artifact. This one in particularly, in particular is highly sought after. Sorcerers, bandits, looters, they would kill you in a heartbeat for this. I can handle myself. I don't think I can, honestly. I'm not so sure. You look very weak. I destroyed a temple full of bugs. What kind of bugs? Centipedes, mostly. I slayed them all. That is rather impressive. I'll tell you what, come back when you are a little stronger and I may be of help to you. In the meantime, be careful who you show that to. Quest updated. Nice. Okay. So I have to imagine that this um, town is not procedurally generated, which might mean that some of the quests are not procedurally generated. Gremlins are everywhere these days. Um, not even the roads are safe. Lots of, uh, these quarter mastery workbenches. I would love to learn a recipe for, like, crafting anything of use. This game is a very slow burn. Uh, I, just as well, it's not actually, like, um, you know, hardcore in the sense that, like, when you die, you're, you're dead. Uh, I, I don't think I would, like, enjoy this game in, in that, uh, in that way. Yo, could you teach us literally any recipe? I've got meat and eggs if you're ready to buy. Can you teach me how to cook? What would you like to know? Uh, how, how do I learn new recipes? In the beginning, you'll have to find or purchase most recipes from a store. Okay, what are the benefits? Uh, uh, okay. Okay, you have the mutton morsels recipe and uh, you're gonna charge me a certain amount of money that I have not got. Well, we got lots of people in here, wow. Tons of people. Um, so I want to find someone that offers a quest and then do that quest. Luff, the general merchant. You need it, we got it. What do you have to trade? Uh, you got lots of stuff. Tons of stuff. But, um, yeah, that's nothing that I can afford. Uh, I'm trying to find, I'm not just like visiting every house arbitrarily. I, I want to find... The, some of these quest people. Cain the botanist. I'm Cain the botanist. I've got resources for all your ar uh, alchemical needs. What is this? I guess that's just a shelf. Yo, what it, where is Aiden? Can I open this? Oh, is this, uh, this is a chest that I can put stuff in, maybe? Oh, gold. Yes, I will steal your gold. I now li have literally any gold. Welcome to the bakery. I'm a uh, Barathon. Okay, I, I need to find uh, some of these people. So, like, this is uh, this is what I mean when I say quality of life features mean a lot to me. Is I have to find Andon the adventurer. Oh, where are they? I, I would like, you know, just like, let me click on that quest and show me if you, if you insist on me, like having to find this person, like, you know, just tell me where they are. Um, I'm assuming they're going to be in the inn. There they are. Uh, I'm looking for work. Ask about the gremlins. Gremlin hordes have been a grow, uh, growing problem. They attack travelers and pillage supplies wherever they can. They are controlled by a nearby gremlin chief. I am the fourth adventurer to try and kill him. I barely escaped with my life. Can you kill the gremlin chief? I'll pay you the reward money we've raised, 510 gold. Yes, I've accepted the quest. Are there more quests here? Probably. Looking for work? Ask about the bandit. Notorious bandit Eric the Reaper attacked and nearly killed me. Him and his men are hiding out a battle at a battle par hollow. I'm um, sure. I, I'm not sure. Uh, where are our quests, like, stored? Oh, here we go. Quests. So is there... This one has a, um... No, never mind. 
neither of these have a limit. The Reaper, he tells me, Eric the Reaper's hiding with his men at Battle Par Hollow. I, I, oh, I don't want to take a quest that has a time limit on it. Vegetable, ask about vegetable stew. I'm not ashamed to admit I have a serious appetite. If you bring me one, I'll pay more than triple its price. Not interested. Okay, so now how do we leave this zone? How would one leave? Do we just like leave the zone? Nope. Can't, can't do that. What about B to escape? There we go. That's how you do it. Okay, so now we have to go to um, Grim Hollow. Battle Par Hollow. There we go. Um, I'm assuming going on the road is going to be relatively simple. Uh, size medium, difficulty 8. Not sure what that means. Let's have a quick look. We can always load if we die. It tells us a little bit. Okay, we got Dwelling Snakes. Good source of leather and oil if you don't mind being bitten. Yep, they true to the description. Ooh, okay. Uh we just got hit by a stalactite, crippled. Well that's a wound. We can probably cure that with a uh, herbal tea. Uh apparently not. Um can we eat some food? Bread. We've got some bread. Oh we got a peasant pot, right? Uh I don't know if I want to use that now though. We could use a bandage. I don't like using it now, and it looks like it didn't work. Impedes movement and prevents jumping or other athletic-based abilities. Set crippled limbs with a splint. Uh, we don't have a splint, so I guess I'm just... My, my leg is broken. So that's no good. Can we pick up these mushrooms? Fail to harvest. One collared earth star. We, we managed to harvest something despite the fact that I have no botany skill. Critical fail sleep. Honestly, I, I don't mind. We, we could stand to sleep for a little bit. Oh my god. How do I know that the, there's a trap there? No, we're now crippled twice. I, 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 uh, there's a certain amount of, um, things to figure out in this game, for sure, that I, I don't know. Sledgehammer. We could take that to salvage it. Cabbage rolls recipe. That's the third time I've gotten the cabbage rolls recipe. I would really like to get any other recipe. We're hungry. Our dude, ha our dude has needs, I'll tell you what. Iron ring. I'm assuming these black marks mean that there could be a stalactite ready to fall on us. Cotton shirt. I don't know if we can wear this. I don't think we can. We've got some mushrooms. I don't know if that hole means that there was a stalactite there. I don't know if wounds have a chance of, like, disappearing on their own. What is that? Cave worm. Waits for its targets to approach before unleashing deadly elemental water attacks. Oh yeah, it definitely is. All right, we're leaving that. I think we're leaving this whole zone. Um, okay, let's go back to town. Did I not check out this house? I don't know if I did or not. Can, do we have any weariness? I guess we do. Remove all weariness. Remove all fatigue wounds. You fall asleep. The weariness from your travels leaves your body. We're still crippled. That's cool. Um, well, it, this is a, now an hour long. Uh, let's try. There's clearly a lot of stuff to learn in this game. Um, learning about, uh, you know, different traits, different skills, different masteries. Quite a lot of what? Why are we attacking this person? What? Why, why would you do that? Why would you attack them? That's silly. 
Uh, we don't, we can't even afford a, a loaf of bread right now, so that's, that's kind of wild. Um, I can't, uh, get rid of my bones. Quite, quite a, uh, quite a, a narrative we've got going on here. I, I can't basically recover from this, um, uh, unless I manage to find some gold or, uh, complete a quest, which, you know, good luck. Um, so I don't know. Let me know in the, the, the comments, maybe. Uh, what I what I could do to improve the situation. I wouldn't mind coming back to this. It's an interesting one It's definitely a game that uh, takes a different approach to the traditional roguelike uh, format And I like some of the stuff it's doing I actually kind of don't like some of the other stuff it's doing and I think it could definitely stand to have a couple of quality of life uh, features um, For me personally, I mean this is a matter of taste but I, I would definitely do without some of the animations just purely for a much uh, qu quicker um, gameplay, but that's that's me, and I, I tend to like to play things quickly, um, probably too quickly. This is definitely a, a lot slower of a roll kind of game, and uh, a little bit more methodical. So um, maybe that's just a personal taste thing, but uh, I could definitely do with a couple of quality of life features, like um, you know how you, how you take quests, um, maybe how you. Uh, navigate dungeons maybe could do with an auto explore uh you know wait until you know fully healed stuff like that um very mainstay features that are uh you know in, in a lot of traditional roguelikes but again matter of taste maybe maybe um it's better that this game doesn't have those things for some people anyway um if you enjoyed this video definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this and i'll see you guys next time take care